Hi everyone, today I'll be covering topic 1.5, Origin of Cells, in the SL and HLIB biology syllabus. So, the theory that living cells, or simple organic molecules, arose from non-living matter, which is essentially the only way that they could have come about, right, is known as abiogenesis. And one experiment that hypothesized the way that this happened is called the Miller-Urey experiment. And those are just the names of the scientists that propose this theory. So the scientists essentially made an educated guess of what the conditions of prebiotic earth were like, or earth before life was created, um, and recreated these conditions using a closed system of flasks and tubes in the, in the lab. So firstly, water was boiled into vapor um, to reflect the high temperatures that were common to Earth um, at the time. The vapor was then mixed with a variety of gases such as hydrogen gas, methane, ammonia to, con to create a reducing atmosphere. And if you do chemistry, you might have heard this term reducing before. Um, so it's basically um, what we learned in our redox unit. Reducing means the lack of oxygen or the loss of oxygen. So we're reducing atmosphere as one in which there's no oxygen gas. Um, so this mixture was then exposed to an electric discharge, as you can see here, which was um, mimicked in the experiment using electrodes um, to mimic lightning, which essentially served as the energy source for the reactions, like triggered the reaction. The mixture was then allowed to cool, which concentrated the components um, and was left for a period of approximately one week. Um, after this time, the mixture was analyzed and found to contain traces of simple organic molecules, which essentially proves that life can be created from um, non-living elements, non-living things such as um, water, these um, gases that you can find naturally in the environment, and um, energy sources such as lightning. So this is just one of the many experiments that we need to know in the syllabus. Just remember the key steps and the conditions required in this experiment, the name of the experiment, and essentially what it's trying to prove or hypothesize. Other than that, this should be a relatively simple topic. So I hope this video helped. Thank you for listening. Bye.